What is going on, guys? Welcome to the podcast. Welcome to the channel. Guys, today I will be slightly introducing you to a project that I am working on, which is set to come out next year. Um, I put a date on it already for February 14th, 2024. As now, that date would be the date that the book would be coming out. But who knows, it might change uh, depending on how much time I have to work on the project. Let me first start again, as I always do, by thanking everyone for checking out the podcast. Thank everyone for sharing the podcast and being a part of the journey that the podcast is going on to become one of the best podcasts out there. And again, with the help from you guys, your sharing and your continued listenership, this podcast will become one of the best podcasts to date. So before we get into the slight explanation of this book, um, writing, I want to tell you a little bit about writing. Writing is something that's not taken, shouldn't be taken lightly. Let me say that because in order to write something, there goes Research, there goes understanding, and then there goes the the ideas that you have to place inside of the book in order for millions of people to understand. So writing is a very tedious process. So that's what I'm saying. A book might come out February 14th, 2024, or it might increase to a later date. So... Yeah, but I just want to give you a quick uh, look into what this book is about, what this project is about. So go ahead and take a listen. Uh, Make sure you share the podcast. Make sure you um, leave a comment wherever I place the podcast. Wherever I place the video to this podcast, let me know what you think about it. And yeah, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and write and get right into this explanation. How deep does the relationship ocean go? So you guys, you have a great rest of your Sunday. Happy Easter to everyone. Um, And yeah, let's find out what this book is about. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. How deep does the relationship ocean go? What is this book basically going to be about? So, a little bit about the chapters in the book. Let's start with the water kickers. The water kickers are people who usually stand at the foot of a relationship or the beginning of a relationship. We might know water kickers as being people who are testing the waters. Have you ever heard the terminology, you're testing the waters to see if you want to be in a relationship? These are who the water kickers are. They're people who don't know if they want to be in relationships, but they want to be close enough just in case a relationship was to take place. So your water kickers would be people who would dance around a relationship before entering it because they may know things about relationships that they fear. Now, let's take to the next stage in this book. The next stage, these people are known as the flailers. I don't know if you've ever seen someone in the water before using one leg to kick around the pool and they look as though that they're swimming, but they're not. These people would actually look kind of crazy to you in the pool or in the ocean because they don't, they look like they're swimming, but they just look over exaggerated a little bit. These people are people who would be known to be in situationships. They might be narcissists. Not, I wouldn't say narcissists. Narcissists in the sense of making you think you're in a relationship, but you're actually not. But they want to keep you closer to them and not be on your own. So they manipulate you in ways to keep you close enough so that they can use you for the best of whatever they want to use you for. Whether sex, money, or time when they want someone to be around, but they don't fully commit to you. 
they just want to pretend to have a relationship with you. Now, friends with benefits would be something that a water kicker would do. But um, a person who wants to keep you around to have sex and pretend to be in a relationship with you, which is different if you want to believe it or not, this person is actually considered a flailer. Because see, friends with benefits, after you do your thing, you go back your separate ways. You don't actually stick around this person. The flailer wants you to be around them and pretend to be in a relationship, but not be in a relationship and still do things outside of whatever situationship y'all have in order to keep you masked up and making you think that you're actually in love when they have no love for you. They're just keeping you around to use you. These are people who pretend to be in relationships or pretend to be swimming in the water. The next level is the swimmer. <clears throat> Excuse me. The swimmer is the person who's been in a relationship for about five years. Now, a person who's been in a relationship about five years, they know how to traverse through the water. They know how to get around in the water. They know, like if there was a tidal wave or <clears throat> they was to be swept up by the current or anything was to happen, these people at least know how to swim in the many different things that can happen in relationships. This may be some trust issues that come about, some uh, uh, temptation that come about, and other things that they may run into in the beginning of their relationship that they're able to, to dive away from or to move past in order to keep on going to the next level. So these swimmers, they actually know a little bit more than these pretenders who are the flailers and they are actually more invested than them as well. That's why they understand how to move in these waters. Now, as these relationships go further and as, uh, you know, as that seven year itch starts to creep in, you're creeping further on, you run into scuba divers. Now, scuba divers are people who've been in relationships about 10 years. The pressure of the relationship becomes a lot stronger. You need a lot more equipment in order to be equipped in these type of waters, in order to be this deep so that you don't drown in the face of a lot of situations. You know, these, these situations can be you've been cheated on, you know, you uh, or, you know, your your partner told you that, you know, they, they're tired of being with you and you may have to go see a psychologist. You may have to go see a marriage counselor or something of that nature to save the relationship. This could be you as a scuba diver because you're facing a lot more than the person that's swimming. You're not the jokester that's flailing around. And you're definitely not that person who's unaware of these things will be known as the water kicker. Let's move a little bit further to not take up too much time. Now, from the, from the scuba diver, you have the submarine. As we all know, the submarine goes a little bit deeper into the water. The submarine is able to withstand more pressure than you could if you was a scuba diver. The submarine is people who've been in relationships for about 15 years plus. So you've been through a lot. You've traversed through a lot. You've, you've been through the temptation. You've been through possible cheating or attempts at cheating. You've been through lies, deception. You've been through family beefs and family fights. Yeah, you your mother's mother not liking you. Mother's father not liking you. Her dad passing away. Your mom passing away. You know, the kids are in high school. You two are alone. You know, you understand you've been through um, ED, erectile, erectile dysfunction. You've been through uh, um, menopause. All of these other different things that are coming about. You are facing these things. And in this submarine, things are a lot more worse than they were before. So you have to know how to build this machine up to be the best thing for you as deep as you go into these waters. Because... Down here, this deep into the ocean, things can get shaky real fast and it'll actually blow you up if you're not ready for it. Because then I see if a submarine goes too deep, that that submarine itself will implode, you know, and it won't be there anymore. So what's going to happen to those people who use that protection? So the major question becomes, how deep does the relationship ocean go?